a couple of guys just going to have to pick up the scoring a little bit. Probably going to play a little bit more fast paced. Jakob and the Spurs will play the Mavericks without LA and Big Board Sports. Spurs are back home and they will face the Mavs tonight without LaMarcus Aldridge, who's out with right shoulder soreness. So that means the Spurs will play without their second leading score this season. With 26 games left in the regular season, Spurs are certainly running out of time to make the playoffs. Every game is very important. Plus, there's always Texas pride on the line when the Spurs face the Rockets or the Mavs. Yeah, it's huge. I mean, all the games are massive. We are just taking one at a time. Um, we know we don't have a lot of time left, so we got to uh, be ready to go from the jump. Yeah, I mean, a uh, little well, Texas pride, you know. Uh, you want to go out and compete. I mean, right now there's other things at stake, but it's always a, a consideration, yeah. Spurs will host the Mavs tonight at 7.30. Dallas is favored by five. Pro football coverage, powered by Davis Law Firm. Dallas Cowboys Vice President Stephen Jones dropping a bombshell during his appearance at the NFL Combine in Indianapolis, revealing that he and representatives of Dak Prescott have not talked since September. That's some reports indicated that the Cowboys quarterback went up on his price for a new long-term contract extension. The clock is ticking since the window for getting a new long-term deal done closes March 10th. That's the day the Cowboys would have to use the franchise tag to hold on to Prescott and give him a one-year salary of $27 million. Now, there's also the new collective bargaining agreement that is being offered to the players by the NFL. Still, is Jones surprised the new deal has not gotten done? Once we didn't get it done, you know, right there at the beginning of the season, it certainly doesn't surprise me that it's not done yet right now. I mean, I was surprised that we didn't get it done at the beginning of the season. And uh, obviously, you know, Jerry's thoughts on it, we all thought we were close. You know, I wouldn't say there was anything acrimonious. We just uh, we felt like we were kind of where we were and we never really got going again. Texans general manager and head coach Bill O'Brien made the trip to Indianapolis for the NFL Combine to check out what future draft picks can help out his team. It's the first time we've heard from O'Brien since he fired Romeo Cornell as his defensive coordinator following that meltdown against the Chiefs to end their season and promoting Anthony Weaver. Weaver and I have spent a lot of time together talking about defense. Um, you know, I've, I've interviewed Weaver. I've, I've, I've talked to him about what he would do uh, if he was ever the defensive coordinator, and he's, he did a great job in those meetings. Very bright guy, has a really good grasp of the whole defense. And then he'll bring his own, his own you know, style to our defense, and I think the players will be excited about it. And for the Texans' sake, hopefully his new defensive mentality will help take that D to another level. Yeah, they, they blew that one against the Chiefs. No, yep. I think the Chiefs, actually. <laughs> Look who won the Super Bowl. Yeah, right? Yeah. Was it college football season yet? Well, we can always talk about Patrick Mahomes, okay. Texas Tech. <laughs> it's always time for SA Live. Too. It is. Hey, you know, we've got a lot on the show today. Oh, and yes. What's better than food? Oh, how about this? How about some free stuff? Are you ready for this? Don't say we don't take care of our audience because we are about to. Can I get a drum roll, please? Thank you for that assist. All right, we're going to tell you how you can win a family four pack of tickets to the San Antonio Spring Home and Garden <laughs> Show. Also, to SeaWorld, a family four pack to SeaWorld, and drum roll again. We're going to need that double drum roll. Spurs tickets. Yeah. Courtside. Yeah. Spurs tickets. Now, courtside. Courtside. Now mm -hmm. we have food, and mm -hmm. Naomi Hendricks, oh yeah, okay, owner of Root and Soul Food, is here, and she brought lunch <gasps> broccoli cheese soup. I love it in a bread bowl. So this mm. is all vegan, right? This is an all vegan broccoli cheddar soup made with whole foods. It's just vegetables on top of veg vegetables on top of vegetables, but you would never be able to tell by the flavor. I can't. I can't either. It's oh my tasty. gosh. Mm. Mm. So right. what I did was I used potatoes and cashews to make that creamy flavor you taste in there, and there's actually no artificial cheese involved. That is mm -hmm. really, really creamy. We're gonna have some more great recipes as well. Hey, we're going to the dogs. Yeah, that's right. The San Antonio Spring Home and Garden Show has it all. You can even pick up some training tips. So we are going to show you how you can help get your fur baby up to speed. The tallest, the fastest wooden roller coaster in Texas at SeaWorld. We ride it. Yes, with my ride or die right there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up. Never miss a story. Watch live or when you want. San Antonio's latest news and weather. Streaming free on KSAT TV.
All right, well, now let's look at the forecast. We're at 52 degrees. Go like the wind, Justin. Oh, we only great. have a few seconds left. I, guys, listen, I'm more than impressed by this. Uh, 54 today. Winds do die down tonight. <laughs> there you go. 30 tomorrow morning, 63 on Thursday. Look out for that freeze tonight. Okay, we're done. <laughs> That's good enough. That was perfect. I think it's time to go to SA Live. It's going to start right now. Hey, did you by chance party a little too much on Fat Tuesday? We've got one cure that could help you bounce right back on the healthy track. And guys, if you're looking to impress your date night uh, look, these outfits might help make you a shoe-in for date number two. And it's the start of Lenten season. We're making some delicious food to help make sure you're not getting up flavor. SA Live starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square, this is SA Live. Oh, yes. Oh, look at those cuties. Hello and happy Rescue Wednesday. We have some adorable adoptable pups in the studio. And in just a few minutes, you can find out how you can help give them a forever home. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Fiona Gorsiza. And I'm Mike Osterhage. And not only is it Rescue Wednesday, it's also Ash Wednesday. And of course, a lot of people are giving up mm -hmm. something for Lent. And we wanted to know. This question's so wrong. Which is harder <laughs> to give up, coffee or carbs? It's like Sophie's Choice. Sophie's Choice? Are you coffee or carbs? Coffee or carbs. I would think. Carbs would be easier. Like you can caffeine, cut back on a little bit caffeine or carbs? Caffeine. Caffeine. Yeah. Caffeine. Wow, that's coffee. caffeine. Yeah. That's everything. I know. No tea, tea and all that stuff. So I would think carbs would be easier. I can't do this. Because I can go <laughs> without a slice of bread, my morning coffee. Oh, got to have that. Yeah. So we want to know what you think, which is going to be easier or tougher. Mm -hmm. mm. Let us know what SI Live case at on Facebook and Twitter. All right. Well, if you happen to be giving up meat for Lent, or maybe you're trying to eat a little healthier, vegan cooking is becoming a tasty and less scary option. Yes, indeed. And Naomi Hendricks Oyagoke, owner of Rooted Soul Food, is here to show us healthy food can be made without meat. Good afternoon. Hello. Hello. Okay, so earlier, um, and mouths were watering across the area because we were looking at your broccoli and cheese soup, and you said it didn't have any dairy, cheese, um, or or vegan cheese? Okay, Not even right. any vegan cheese. So what, really? what is it made out of real quick? For so those I, I, I used cashews and potatoes and nutritional yeast is the key to get that cheesy flavor to blend it all together to make you feel like mm. you're doing something wrong, but it's actually so healthy for you. It the, felt so right. Yeah, it, it felt really so did. right. It felt when so a right. soup like that is <laughs> thick and rich and you know, it, it, it's hearty. It's it really is. Okay. Comforting. So, okay. All right. So we are making a burger, but a, a black, black bean, bean burger. A Cajun. Cajun. A Cajun, Cajun black, bean black bean burger. Bean. So you're going to get our toppings ready? Okay. All right. All right. Fantastic. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is get the... So I already pre-pulsed mm -hmm. some tortilla chips, and I'm using the HEB uh, sea salt tortilla chips. If you guys have not tried those, they are the best tortilla chips. And they're super salty, so we're going to add these in. I'm already... We pre-blended pre those. Those chips got um, major stamps of approval from everyone absolutely, behind the scenes Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> so we're going to dump our... I, I took the two cans of beans, and I already rinsed them out, but okay. what I did was reserve the liquid that came out of the beans. This is important, so you have to reserve that because we're going to use that later. Okay. Okay, so we're going to dump our beans in here, and we're just going to give this a quick pulse. I'm going to go ahead. Dump your one. All right, keep going. Stop. Okay, I think that looks good. So okay. we still can see some of the beans in there. They look beautiful, so we okay. want to be able to uh, see those. So now we're going to get the rest of the ingredients ready. We're going to mix together the flour. Flour goes in here. Mm -hmm. Okay. With the reserved liquid from the beans. And this now, is the secret you're talking this about. This is the secret part that I'm talking about. So this is uh, going to become our binder. It's basically an egg replacer so that we can hold together mm -hmm. the uh, burn the patties. Okay. I'm going to turn this down a just because it's yeah. smoking right. up a little mm -hmm. bit. So mix that together mm -hmm. and we get that mixed in really well. And the nice thing about the, the black beans like that means are you get the good protein. Absolutely. That you would get with Absolutely. The, the and it's meat very and hearty and filling. Okay. Satisfying. Okay. So All we got right. that. All right. Next. So we're gonna mix in um, some cilantro. Mm -hmm. We have some garlic because of course we have garlic. Mm -hmm. Let's get all that garlic in there. Oh uh, yes. <laughs> come here, come here. No garlic left behind. None. Mm -hmm. And then we have <laughs> green onions. And 
I'm only, I'm only having to use one seasoning blend. This is the Cajun seasoning because we have enough salt in the tortilla chips and then the pepper that's included in this Cajun blend is gonna be enough of oh, a kick there. Perfect. So it's just a Cajun, uh, Cajun blend that we're gonna put in there. And then mix all the black bean and the chips. Absolutely. In there and then you form up your burger patties. Absolutely. How'd you get started into doing all the uh, vegetarian and vegan? Well, um, a documentary. So I was watching Netflix one night mm -hmm. and I saw um, a documentary about how plants just fuel your body and you really don't need much else to get all that fuel and it's so clean and healthy and I just really wanted to give it a shot. So about seven years ago, my husband and I decided to um, give up the meat and the dairy and see what it was all about. And it's being that I was um, a lifelong um, passionate home chef. Uh -huh. It was um, a challenge at first because I really wanted all of those foods that I was used to. So it was, it, was ex it was a lot of experimentation and a lot of fun trying to recreate all of those dishes in a vegan version. And like getting the, the thickness and the richness with the, uh, the soup there and also the juiciness Absolutely. of the burger. So we formed up patties here mm -hmm. and goes right into a nice hot skillet, right? Yes. Okay. And one of the toppings, and you said this is kind of a mayo replacer. Yes, I, I call the avocado uh, nature's mayo. So it's so, it's full of fat, it's so healthy, and it's gonna give you that same creaminess that you would get from a mayonnaise. Instead of putting the mayonnaise on your burger, you can just take avocado. And what's your trick? Okay, you so to... let's see, you're gonna grab a fork. Mm -hmm. okay. And instead of using a lot more utensils, let me give right. one to you, Alrighty. and a whole nother bowl, I'll you can just take, right. you can just take your fork and just kind of like squish it down in there. Oh, okay. And you're gonna just push it around right in there, and then you can just uh, take it with the fork and spread it right on top of the your burger. So it just saves a step. A step. It saves, <laughs> yeah, it saves a step, and, and uh, most importantly, it saves dirty dishes because yes, I'm gonna say that too. Absolutely. Because so many times when you're cooking, I mean, it's all of a sudden you look and go, "Did I use that many dishes?" Exactly, and, exactly. Okay. So you definitely lather that avocado on the top and all bottom right. because more avocado is always better. I like that mantra. <laughs> Whoopsie, lost a little hunk there, mm -hmm. there we go. Let me know if you need more. All right, got I think we got here. plenty on here, and if folks want to get a hold of you, you don't have a uh, brick and mortar place though. Do I you? do not have a brick and okay. mortar, but I do call La Botanica my home. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys familiar with La Botanica down on St. Mary's Street? Yeah. Yes. It's a fabulous place. They have welcomed me in, so every Sunday night I go and I cook dinner out from 6 to 8 p.m. So I do what they call a kitchen takeover, and I serve my food and my, uh, my recipes. And you can also uh, hire me for catering. Okay. And then I'm also all around the city at a lot of different pop-ups um, all around San Antonio. So you can find me, you'll find me, um, you can find where I'm gonna be located on my Instagram page, at Rooted Soul Food, and then on Facebook as well. Okay, so if someone is looking to switch to vegan, what are some small ways they can start? Well, there's so many plant-based milks out there okay. now. Like you go to the dairy section and there's just a vast variety of um, plant-based milks made from everything now. So bananas, oats, um, almonds, cashews. So that's a really easy step to like easily change out that one thing. Uh -huh. And then I, I like to say like, don't beat yourself up. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a transition. So any steps are better than no steps okay. at all. And that vanilla almond milk, my wife buys that. That's pretty good stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, Absolutely. let's see, okay. How is it? I love the Cajun spices in there. Excuse me. Um, mm. And the creaminess of the mayo. Yeah. And everything on there. Mm. Thank All you. Right, thank yeah, you so much. It. Absolutely. Thank you guys yes. for having Great me. Great tips, too. Mm -hmm. For more information on Rooted Soul Food, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Okay. There is a new <laughs> king of coasters, and it is right here at SeaWorld. It is the tallest and fastest wooden roller coaster. Yeah, so, you know, we... <laughs> This, uh, we're one of the first ones to check it out for you. So we kind of tested it. Yeah. Take a look. All right, we are here at SeaWorld and yep. we are about to ride the new Texas Stingray. It is a wooden roller coaster technically. It's got some metal frame and this I'm looking forward to. I've been swimming with Stingrays. I've never ridden on one. <laughs> it is the tallest and fastest wooden, wooden roller, coaster roller coaster in Texas. Yes. Let's Are see you if that. Scared? No, Are I you love scared? roller coasters. Are you? Scared, Do you like scared? Are you scared? scared? Not no, scared? I love roller coasters. <laughs> Come on. <laughs>
I am so glad you were my ride or die. Because <laughs> that was exhilarating. That was that was fun. Chuck, 50, 55? 55 miles an hour. Remember, Texas Stingray at SeaWorld San Antonio is the tallest, longest, fastest wooden roller coaster in Texas. 55 miles an hour, 100 foot drop, 16 airtime moments. Those are those moments where your stomach just kind of yeah. goes, Got to think of 16 of those. And and it's kind of it's got the metal frame, the wooden deck for the, for the rails. It's a little bit tighter, a little bit faster than normal wooden roller coasters. It seems I, like. I I think so. I've ridden it umpteen times, and it's it's a lot smoother than other roller coasters. But yet it still has that roller coaster feel to it, just a little bit of the vibration yeah. to it, and that's what people like about it. Uh, it's the first of its kind here in San Antonio. Yeah, and it's got some some really nice angled tight turns and everything, but you're not getting just yanked and thrown a ride. Right. But it that's it's exhilarating. Yeah, I mean, you go, I mean, I'm riding it and then all of a sudden my body's totally this way and then I'm this way and then it's totally this way and I'm like, oh my gosh, what's going on? And then there's that 100 foot tunnel that you go yes! through. It, it, it's, it's exhilarating. It's fantastic. It's new for this year at SeaWorld. We want you to come on out and see it. So we got the sneak peek. Yep. Okay. Yep. We tested it out. <laughs> you folks can try it out this weekend, right? Absolutely. Texas Stingray opens. It debuts to the public on Saturday, February 29th. Get here early. We open at 10 o'clock. It's just going to be a lot of fun. For more information, of course, on SeaWorld San Antonio and the Texas Stingray, just head to SeaWorldSanAntonio.com. Well, you can win a family four pack to SeaWorld so you can ride all the fun rides and see all the amazing marine life. Just enter to win right now on salive.com. That was a fun coaster. All right, we are switching gears and it is <laughs> Rescue Pet. These two are just, I mean, talk about attached at the hip, basically. Good <laughs> pals. Hey, Kimberly uh, Cahoon, founder of Lucky Spot Dog Rescue, is here to introduce us to these two great dogs looking for a home. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Who Thank do you. we have here? There's no <laughs> precious. This little guy here is Atkins. You can't tell, but he only has three legs. His other leg had to be amputated. Aww. He was rescued um, from a pallet of of like it was like a wood pile and mm -hmm. a lady found him and it coaxed him out with oh, chicken for two weeks oh, to oh gain his trust goodness. and his we found his leg was just so broken we don't know how but it had to be amputated um, but he is just doing so much better now without it he runs around great on three legs and he is well I was gonna say even Adkins can't tell you know really no. about his leg he's he's we've been watching him just here around the studio and he's been bouncing around the happiest dog it doesn't phase mm -hmm. him at all it doesn't phase him at all he's a happy boy he <laughs> loves other dogs and he loves kids too <laughs> these two <laughs> they're just having the best okay. time together and then again who's the one that we said looked like they got you know he got in a fight Let's with see. a McFlurry yes an Oreo McFlurry <laughs> Skelly McFlurry yes so she was rescued actually in the same area and she was found as skin and bones. Aww. She just had no meat on her whatsoever and it seems that her back leg was caught in something. So um, she has an injury to her back leg but it wasn't as bad to where it needed to be amputated so she still actually uses that leg and she'll run on it sometimes when she feels like it. And you can see in that picture, oh, she, yeah. you know, and now, I mean, she feels great. And these two just <laughs> love to play. And I'll tell you one thing, uh, when she pulls on this leash, you better be ready because she's, she's a strong dog. But look at that. I mean, just, you go, 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 you you can contact us through our website or Facebook, Instagram. We have an application you can fill out and um, then we'll set up a meet and greet with you and bring the dog to you and just make sure it's a great fit for your home and your kids or other pets that you have. Okay, and Lucky Spot Dog Rescue can always use donations and always needs. We always need fosters. Mm -hmm. The more fosters we have, the more um, dogs that we can take in and rescue because we are a foster-based rescue in San Antonio. Oh, well, if you'd like more information on the... Lucky Dog. Lucky dog. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank Lucky you very spot. much. Lost Sorry. my place. Lucky spot. Dog, dog rescue. Sorry. Wait a minute. I'm being <laughs> on. You got your hands full. <laughs> if you want more information to the Lucky Spot Dog Rescue, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Hi. Hello. Thank you very much, yes. Kimberly. Whoops. Uh oh. Now we're in trouble. Right, I know. It's okay. There we go. Okay. Hey. Still ahead on SA Live, it's a double dose of dogs where you can catch an amazing show from this fetching and flipping canine. But first, did you overindulge yesterday for Mardi Gras? It's time to detox. What's in these drinks that could help? Find out next on SA Live.
Welcome back to SA Live. Well, healthy living has never been so easy with these fresh pressed raw juices that are ready for you to just grab and go. Robert Monty is the owner of Farm and Juice and he is here to show us how we can squeeze the most out of life. I like what you drinks. did there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being here. Good yes. afternoon, sir. So Good afternoon. Someone's been indulging on the not so healthy stuff. You have something, of course, that they can switch to, right? Well, we have one that we call detox, but we have several different juices that's great for detox in the body. But today we're going to uh, demonstrate on how to make a detox juice. And okay. then, uh, of course, we already have a wide variety of ones to choose from that we can sample any today. So, so what, we so what we're going to do here, we're going to go ahead and turn this one on here. All right. And we're going to let you just start squeezing away there, just pressing down. This here is a slow masticating juicer. Uh, we do have cold press juices at our store. Mm -hmm. So, um, and can you juice about mm -hmm. anything? Mm -hmm. Yep. I think it's going to break. All right. Mm -hmm. And, and what, are the, what, what are the benefits of, of juicing? Well, it's just a great way of getting your uh, daily fruits and vegetables uh, if you don't like to, to eat them. Mm -hmm. um, it's a great way for that. It's, um, it just kind of flushes all the toxins out. It just flushes out, and, out all yeah. your and, and because you said the equivalent mm -hmm. in this bottle is about what, two pounds? About two to three pounds of fruits and vegetables in each one. That take all yeah, day. You can knock that yeah. out, yeah, yeah. just and, like uh, that. And even though all the solids are out of there, you're still getting the fiber from it, right? Correct. Okay. Correct. Okay. So which what, one? What is so? Which one is this one? This, this one, one here is the Crazy Kale. It's okay. our most popular one that we have. So for seven years, it's been the for most seven popular years. One. Yeah. Crazy Kale. This one here is going to have kale, spinach, red cabbage, but then it's also going to have some sweetness because it's got oh, Fuji yeah. apples. Granny Smith's green apples, red grapes, and strawberries. Okay, this, I was thinking, that was good. I was thinking kale, but it was going to be like, ugh, kale, yeah. but this is fantastic. Yeah. This is so good. Mine, is, mine's gone. Uh, this is really good. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was really tasty. I see why it's the most popular. Yeah. So besides juices, there are smoothies too, right? We also have smoothies at our store, and today we're going to go ahead and make one really for this one here is just a fun smoothie that we make at the store each day. Uh, we also have healthy ones. We can custom any smoothie. We can custom any juice at the store. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have acai bowls, which we custom those as well. Okay. Um, we do advertise as grab and go, so you're able to come into the store at any time. If you want to cleanse a three day, five day, you're able to just come in and grab it and go. You don't have to do a 24 hour advance notice. So these are all pre-made, the, the juices? Well, the size and the smoothies we make on the okay. spot, but all the juices, we're constantly making them throughout the day. So, um, all right, so you've got this smoothie going and you, what, what have you thrown in there? So what we've got here is strawberries, mm -hmm. um, pineapple, mango, we're going to put a little banana in there. We put a little bit of agave. Mm. And acai, that's one of the best things, almost like kale. It's that unique little fruit from what, South America. Ah, yeah. yeah. I know. Even the dogs good. like it too. They're mm -hmm. barking about that one. Um, <laughs> So it's a great smoothie here. I'm going to let you sample this one as well. All righty. Okay, here, here we go. go. I'm loving this. Uh -huh. If that's as good as that kale smoothie, mm -hmm. I'm sold on that. And you're located over there at 1604 and... Uh, 281, yes. Okay, and do you have to pre-order products? You said no, you can just walk in? Just walk in for all of our juices. Um, smoothies and acai bowls, of course, we make on the, mm -hmm. on the spot. Mm -hmm. We also provide other um, items as well. We do provide CBD, and since we have... Ooh. Mm -hmm. pups here today. We actually have CBD for pets as well. Oh, okay. Mm. You know that kale thing? You could make a good margarita out of that. That crazy kale? Wouldn't that be good? Yeah. It has been rumored. <laughs> just, I wouldn't know firsthand, <laughs> but it has been rumored to, to go well with alcohol. With that. <laughs> Thank you so Why much. <laughs> for more information on Farm to Juice, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Think of the vitamins you're getting. Oh, I know. <laughs> Some of the guilt goes away. <laughs> Still ahead on SA Live. You have a chance to win free courtside Spurs tickets coming up at around 145. So stick around because we're going to tell you what you need to do and how this giveaway could also bring down your bills. And next, training tips with top canines where you can catch an incredible show from high flying, twisting, jumping dog. Learn some tricks for your pup as well. That is straight ahead.
Welcome back. Well, whether you're looking to learn how to make renovations to your home, entertain the kids, eat some tasty food, or learn how to train your dog, the San Antonio Spring Home and Garden Show has it all. And it is going on a Friday through Sunday at the Alamo Dome. Speaking of training Fido, Harris Grove, owner of Fetching Freedom mm -hmm. Dog Training, is here. And this is what's so great about the, the home show this weekend is it is literally everything about the home. Mm -hmm. It is. It is everything. It's amazing. Okay. And you, of course, are going to be there. And... Uh, there, what is a good place to start when training your dog? What are kind of the popular? In your home. Yeah. The best place to start is mm -hmm. in your home. Because if your dog can't listen in your home, around your family, right. it's not going to listen anywhere else. So yes. in your home, in your backyard, that's the best place to start. Okay. Because sometimes you take it to the training camp, but no, it's 99.9% .9 of the time it's in, it's in the house. And that's right? where most people have problems and they want help is in their home. And I think one, one of the things that a lot of people deal with is jumping. Right? Yes. Or, or, or just learn, teaching them to sit. Yes. Okay? Or, or just a few of the ones. They do. Start. And one of the things that I tell people is a leash is your best friend. So okay. uh, this is just a six foot leash. And to help with jumping and sitting, um, if she was to jump, Riley, come here. Um, I'm just going to drop this down and step on it. Okay. She can't jump now. Right. Right? So now I can, hi, hello. There's, there hi. might be a lot of food on the ground. Hello. <laughs> right? But there she can't jump up. Wow. And so I can get her attention. I can get her to sit, right, just up with the hand, mm -hmm. and then good job for not jumping, okay. right? So I've stopped the jumping, and now I can reward, reward her for staying in and a well, sit. And step on it short enough so they're not, like, yanking at their neck trying to jump up, right? Right, okay. exactly, but not so much that it's pulling them to the ground. Riley, come. All right, now, uh, so that goes in conjunction with sit, the no yes. jump and the sit like and that. and the sit. And then you talk about doing a place, teach a place? Yes, so place can be anything in your home. It's something elevated. We have this platform here today, but I use dog beds. You can use a chair at your house, and it's a spot that's designated that you've taught your dog, go to this. Go to this and hang out. And it really helps when people come over. You can ask the dog, hey, right. go to place. They run over to place. They hang out. You're able to open the door. They're not rushing out. They're not jumping around the people, and they've calmed down. So like with Riley, I can, again, take this leash, right? And I can, she knows it, but place. Good girl, right? So I can just have her get up on it. You reward them when they're on here, right? Good job for being on here, mm -hmm. practicing that, and then they'll stay there when people are there. Now, could the place also be their crate? I know crate chaining is a good it could. method, right? Yes. Okay. It could be the crate with the door wide open. They go in and they stay in until you ask them to come out. Okay. Now, say, say you have dogs at home that are, you know, they don't know anything. Um, <laughs> okay, and they might be a little older. Is it possible to train? Yes, you can train dogs of any age. I've trained dogs up to 12 years old, even. Um, you have different expectations right. because a dog that's 12 has 12 years of habits. Right. So you got to think <laughs> about that and your expectation of how quickly it's going to happen. But it's about consistency and showing them what you want. So any age can learn. Okay. Okay. And you're going to be putting on a demonstration and taking questions at the home show, right? Yes, we are. We're going to be doing demonstrations of how to. We're going to be doing tricks. And then we'll also be showing, uh, do a question and answer for people who have questions. Um, for both the shows. And you're going to be there Friday and Sunday? Sunday, yes. All right. And on the main somebody, stage. And then after that, if somebody wants to get a hold of you, they can have you come to their home to Yes, they them. can. And we'll have a booth there as well all weekend, so you can see us all weekend with dogs and okay. come by and ask us questions. And you have these, this guy has some tricks, right? She does. She has okay. some tricks. Okay, so just real quickly before yep. we go, let's see what she can do. I'm already impressed. I Riley, know. come here. Heel. Yes, weave. No, heel, weave. Yes, good girl, come here, weave. Yes, good girl, weave. Weave. Good girl. Ready? Spin. There you go. Spin. Yes, spin. Spin. Reverse. Reverse. And spider. Yes, good girl. Good job. Here you go. Julia Collin Davison from America's Test Kitchen. The Spring San Antonio Home and Garden Show is this Friday through Sunday at the Alamo Dome. Get two tickets for the price of one with the promo code KSAT at checkout on their website, SanAntonioSpringHomeShow.com. And you can enter to win a family four pack for free right now on our website, SALive.com. Again, the Spring San Antonio Home and Garden Show is this Friday through Sunday at the Alamo Dome. Thank you so much, Harris. All right, up next, how you can observe Lent and still get a delicious meal at the new Familia Cortez restaurant at the Rim. We're going to give you a taste, so don't go anywhere. But right now, here's a look at what's coming to the Tobin Center for the Performing Arts, brought to you by BMW of San Antonio.
Welcome back to SA Live. And of course, it's Lenten season. Many of, us, many of us are giving up a good thing, but don't have to give up a good meal. Gilbert de la Paz, the kitchen manager from Mi Familia, is here to show us what's on the menu at some of the La Familia Cortez restaurants uh, for the next few weeks. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you, sir. Thank you for inviting me. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, smells good. What are mm -hmm. we cooking? Yes. Yeah. So we're going to be creating um, the tortita de camar camarón with nopal guisada. It's one of our traditional um, Lent entrees that we bring out to our other restaurants, you know, right there in Lent. Mm -hmm. This is the beginning of Lent, Ash Wednesday. So mm -hmm. translation, what is it? It is a sh shrimp patty mm -hmm. that we're gonna saute in our um, cactus as nopal. Oh, so, and okay. and uh, um, chili red sauce. Okay. So, Some yeah. Onions. So right now we're taking the onions. This takes a while for the sake of time. I already started them. And then we take the nopales. So Fiona, if you mm -hmm. want to just go all ahead and put all of that in there. And these nopales is cactus. These do have to be, you know, prepped. They're, they're boiled with some garlic. Mm -hmm. And then um, we're going to take a couple. This is ground up whole shrimp. And we're going to take oh. a couple of those tablespoons, just pour it in there. I've just never seen ground shrimp. Yeah, we work? take the whole shrimp, dry it up, dehydrate oh. it, and then we just um, put well, it in a processor. And so yeah. So with all the liquids in there, it's almost making like a seafood sauce. Exactly, the exactly. And then um, we take guajillo, ancho, and chile albor, and we boil those right. with a little bit of garlic. And we blend it, we strain it, and then we're, we add that and combine all of those flavors together. And then we just add in a few spices. I like to add in cumin, Mexican oregano, and a little mm. bit of salt, mm. and some garlic puree. Garlic in all our cuisine, you know, Mexican cuisine, there's garlic. So mm -hmm. All the depth of flavors mm -hmm. in this. Now, besides this dish, what else do you have? Um, <laughs> so we, we created a menu. I mean, we have plenty of seafood options on a menu already. We have our enchiladas primavera you could get year round. And then I love Lent because this is a time of year we get to create some of our, you know, Mexican recipes. This is a combination of two recipes from my grandmother's, you know, so I'm honoring both of them. You know, one use, this has cheese in it. Mm -hmm. So it's bolillo bread that we toast up oh. and then we soak it Look in what's called piloncillo. Piloncillo is um, brown sugar and cane sugar. And we melt that down with some water. And I put clove, cinnamon, and orange peel and make a syrup. Then I pour it over our toasted bread. And traditionally, mm. we put raisins. Um, some people put almonds, pecans. And um, I, some people put cheddar cheese. Here in Texas, I found they use a lot of cheddar cheese. But my grandmothers um, from Mexico, they would use um, gotija, or this one has queso fresco. Oh, wow. Oh, it's so good. So it's a Mexican bread pudding. We enjoy it all Lent season. Well, of course, not only all the um, great La Familia Cortez family restaurants down here, but out there at the rim. And if you'd like more information, and go out and see Gilbert out there at the, uh, the rim now, go to LaFamiliaCortez.com. Thank you very much, sir, mm -hmm. appreciate Thank it. You. Next on SA Live, guys, no need to struggle with what to wear for date night, how to create these stylish looks that are also affordable. It's straight ahead. Guys, you want to put your best foot forward, especially when stepping out for date night. So fashion stylist Christina Janes joins us, and you are going to give us three great date night looks for guys utilizing what they may already have in their closet. We're going to do a casual look where you have a vest and how to dress up some jeans, and then we'll have our second look for culture and dining, which I will show you how you can take a suit and utilize it in different ways from work. And then our third will be the Stetson look, because we all are from the South and have to show off our cowboy hat. So our first look is the casual date look, yes. right? Yes. So we have Preston here in a nice quilted vest that you can find in your closet and this great red shirt with a nice jean that fits very well and a good leather sneaker boot. We can also change this look if you're the kind of guy that likes to leave a shirt tucked out. You can undo the vest and your shirt 
and still create the same look that you're going for, but just a more relaxed fit. This next look is that dinner kind of culture date look. Yes. I wanted to show how you can go from work and take a suit and change it up a little bit. So we'll have our jacket that we typically wear and you don't always have to wear the same colors. It's nice to kind of change the pattern a little bit. So you'll see that there's a pattern within this structured jacket and then a nice good textured uh, navy blue pant. I switched to shoes because you can always have a shoe that's more formal for work and changing it up a little bit makes it great for dates. This is our Stetson look because we are in the south so we can't forget our cowboy hat. And so here I kind of wanted to make it a little bit more casual because sometimes we always know we can do cowboy boots but I thought I'd switch it up and do a nice casual boot. Show that it still works with your sport coat and a good old Stetson hat. And you can't really go wrong with like a crisp white shirt. Every man must own one of those and it looks really good starched and great for dating. So those are some great date night looks for the guys from Fashion Stylist. Christina Jane's telephones have to find you. Well, you can find us on Instagram at Southern as a Mother or you can come into the shop here in Bracken Village. Perfect. And for all that information, just head to our website, salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Next on SA Live, who wants to win some free courtside Spurs tickets? Yep, you heard us right. You can't miss this big giveaway that can also help bring down your bills. Stay with us. All right, well, if you're looking for ways to save some money and improve your home, making the switch to solar can help you save big on your electric bill. Dan Moran, VP of Sales at South Texas Solar Systems, is here to tell us how. All right. Okay, yeah. we're going to tell folks that the reason you're holding a basketball is because we're going to tell them in just a few minutes about how they can win courtside seats to a Spurs game, right? Exactly, exactly okay. right. All right, but you guys stick around. One second. All right. So <laughs> tell folks how switching to solar can, of course, save them money. Well, how is by harnessing that power and owning that power. So make sure that, you know, please give us a call. Right now is the best time to do this because we have a home suite solar deal that we spoke of last uh, month. Mm -hmm. That's still in effect. So it's $3,000 for everyone that's in the CPS <coughs> territory. So please, please take advantage of that. Give us a call. $3,000, okay. and then you get a tax credit of $5,000. So that can add up. That can yes. add up. All That's right. really good. Now, we were talking about the Spring Home and Garden Show a little bit earlier, mm -hmm. and South Texas Solar Systems is going to be there, right? That's right. We're going to be there. We're going to display a lot of our equipment. We're going to have a lot of uh, staff in uh, there to uh, talk about solar, the importance of solar, um, and just really go over all our, all our deals, all our equipment, and just uh, the importance of uh, solar again, really. And because here in South Texas, I mean, we get so much sun. So mm -hmm. this is an incredible investment, not right. only in your home, but you get to see those immediate results. Yeah, immediate. I mean, it's it's right from the get-go. I mean, f right as soon as the power is, is switched on to commission, you'll see your bills start dropping. Mm -hmm. uh, take advantage of that. Right now is the best time to go solar. It's right before spring break, so please give us a call. We got guys on standby. Again, give us a call. That's, that's money that you can save for the summer, uh, really. And with this three thousand uh, dollar cash back, you can really take advantage of your Christmas debt that you just got off, right? Mm -hmm. And then we got summer vacations, so really, really, it's a great incentive. All right. And as far as the installation process, mm -hmm. you guys take care of all the paperwork and the red tape, right? Right. Right. It's a turnkey operation. It's, it's a it's a easy process. There's no no headaches to it. We take care of the whole thing. The whole process uh, installations two days. I mean, you got one day for the installation. Uh, of the panels, one day for the electrical. Of course, like you mentioned, all the red tape does take a few weeks, you know, so that, that will carry over, but we take advantage. We take care of that. All right, and now you've got another big thing going on, which is the giveaway. Right, right? we got Spurs courtside, uh, court, courtside tickets. Uh, it's a great way to spend a, a great evening uh, watching a game. Uh, you get the best treatment ever. You're right up front. You get uh, drinks, you get parking. I mean, you're gonna have a lot of fun. So please give us a call. Uh, go to our Facebook page, you can, or, or just go, go to our website. You'll be able to see how you can enter, uh, and please enter. It's active right now. It ends uh, on March 11th, and then we're going to make the announcement that day as well. Okay, and this is, of course, courtside for the game on March 16th. Exactly. Again, you can enter on Facebook. You can search them on their South Texas Solar Systems and just find out exactly how you can enter to win. As we mentioned, the winner will be announced on March 11th. All right. For more information on South Texas Solar Systems and their products, you can visit them at txsolarsystems.com or call 210 405 8628 
You can also follow them on social media. The handles are listed right there on your screen. Dan, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. All right, spring is coming up fast, so get ready. We have a sneak peek into the springtime makeup trends with tips and tricks on how to create these looks yourself. Plus, we have a new series called Real San Antonians. Our first pieces takes you inside this local hotspot off the St. Mary's Strip to learn the story behind the food. Earlier, we asked you which is harder to give up, caffeine or carbs? All right, this is the poll on Twitter. Ooh. And it looks like, oh my gosh, it's a dead heat. I told you, I told you this That's was hard. This is hard. Okay. I have a donut and coffee to think about. It. All right, so here is what's going on on Facebook. Oh wow, carbs is slaying caffeine. So carbs would be harder to give up for those on in Facebook land. That's that's interesting because I would think you know you get that that morning cup of coffee. I, right. I'm speaking from. Yeah, well, you need it. You're up <laughs> ridiculously early. <laughs> I would have said, no, he's going to give up carbs. There's no way you can give up caffeine. <laughs> well, thank, thanks for uh, commenting on that, though. Appreciate that. That's interesting. Wow. 72% to 20. That uh, three to one margin. Okay. Hey, tomorrow we've got a lot coming up. It is Real San Antonio's, our first piece. is pitched inside this local hot spot off the St. Mary's Strip.